Once upon a time, a mysterious package showed up at the kingdom of Lift Ark Studios. Previously, a lowly peasant, now a respected tinkerer and board game fanatic, Sir Spike was then tasked with opening up this vessel to see what treasures lie inside. Thoughts after unboxing it. My thoughts are, as a novice unboxer, this was one of the most efficiently packed boxes I've ever seen. Yeah, there was no fluff. It was everything was inside, which makes a lot of sense because it's a huge cavity. And I think you know the majority of the legwork is going to be on your shoulders mm -hmm. for learning the software because yeah. they do have their own software. I don't know what. Um, if it's exclusive to only respond to that software. Right. Um, but immediately, just trying to take it out of the box, I was like, oh. Yeah, this oh. thing's stout. I mean, it is, I, that doesn't <laughs> showcase it. <laughs> Mostly metal. Yeah, no, this thing is stout. Uh, I'm very excited, because my previous experience with a CNCU router, or a desktop CNC router, it was a three-in-one, it was, had a lot of movement to it. Like you, when you were actually cutting, you could see it move back and forth just from the force material. So I'm excited to see if this holds up, if it's pretty rigid, because it feels rigid. Yeah. Every, and on the inside, I was kind of touching stuff. It feels rigid, mm -hmm. which you want in a CNC machine. So this is basically nothing to do with the actual machine itself, but I'm very excited so far. The user manual is definitely the best we've seen. Yeah. But yeah. Cool. Sick. All right, when we come back, we're going to make this puppy work. You've been saying like, oh, I got to study. I got to study. Oh, it's going to be so tough to learn. I did say that. Oh, God, I'm, it's going to take hours. I oh, I got to go home and study. I don't think I said that. Well, anyways, I just watched the first video on the Makera YouTube channel about an overview for how to use their cam software to use the Kavera Air, and uh, it looks fucking sweet, <laughs> and I'm so excited. <laughs> I hope that I'm not wrong. It's very straightforward, and if I'm not hearing the uh, tutorial wrong, a lot of this stuff is just done for you. Like, you can put in just a 2D CAD file and determine the depth there. Or if you enter in a 3D file, you can basically select a part of it and it will automatically detect all of the depths and widths and everything. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it's, that's why I'm like super excited, but also like, ah, I hope I'm not wrong here. Like you can just take an STL file, like one that has like the 3D mesh. We have a bunch of those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm super excited to dive into this and figure out what I can make uh, on here, on the Makara Air, and to piss off people around me. <laughs> All right, so I've watched seven minutes so far of an overview of their YouTube tutorial. And things that I've learned so far is that there is a lot in the cam software that's free uh, that's already built into it. For instance, they have a full, they have a material library, which of course you can change and add to, but has different you know, settings for it. But what I thought was even cooler is that they have a tool library for every single bit that they offer through Makara. And when you click on one, like they have it divided up by types, but when you click on one, it'll tell you what material it's used for. What? and all of its you know, uh, uh, default settings. So for somebody who, you know, again, this is all speculation after seven minutes of me just being like, I wanna do this. 
for somebody who is less familiar with how to do CNC, and I'm, I have a little bit of experience, but not a ton, this is awesome. The less thinking I have to do to get me from point A to thing B uh, is super exciting. The tutorials so far, awesome. Super clear and easy to follow. But we like to experiment here, <laughs> which means that usually we're gonna try something, it's gonna break, and then we're gonna go to the tutorial <laughs> to figure out what happened. So we're gonna we'll do see. that. <laughs> this was our first test with the light, uh, with the laser. Laser. And now this will be our first test for the uh, Make Make What I've done so far is I've got the piece jigged up. Now all I did is I put on the spare wasteboard that they provided us. I put on the L clamp, which is a nice way to jig it up. And then I have these clamps. And what I love about this board, it's all screwed it together. It's all, it's all easy. It, there's barely any thinking involved. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, the wire probe came already wire, er, plugged in and installed. And it's got this awesome collet holder. So usually in CNC machines, you have to hand tighten it and do it all yourself. This one has a knob and it just wow. pulls right out. And all of the bits are calibrated to where the stop is on there at the exact same time. So every time you put in a new bit, uh, all you gotta do is press it all the way to the top, flip that and now it's on. That's so, great. Yeah. and. <laughs> Like again, this is all me just, I've watched like two videos and I'm just slamming stuff together. But if I want to change out the collets and the, on the different bits or sizes, this magic thing somehow does that. And I'm excited to figure out how. <laughs> <laughs> That's in video three. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so far I've got jigged up and then next I'm just going to start cutting and see if I break it. I hope it don't break it. And you're, you'll only break a bit. Yeah. But all I've done, like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to express how easy this was with other than being like, I did that in like five minutes without really thinking much about it. So, I hope it don't break it. All right. Yeah. And time to find out. So I've been doing a little work on the work, my workbench here. I've added lights, yes, which is a huge <laughs> help, especially for the laser. Uh, I just took the computer and got all the programs I wanted on to it that I need. The last thing is we're gonna run an ethernet cord. That way I can be attached to the server. Got the new Makara set up. Uh, the only problem, not really a problem, just something I have to adjust to is far back as that's gonna go. But I still have access to everything, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, yeah, this is my new uh, my new workshop. So basically, as soon as we get a vacuum, we're just gonna send it. Yeah, and if we don't, I uh, may just send it. <laughs> now we have a bigger shop back that I'll attach if I don't have one soon. Cool. That's a good fit. Come out. It works. So the last time we talked about this, we uh, did a very quick 3D relief just to do it. Uh, I've watched a tutorial about this after I've already done this, and there are some things that they would do differently. They're not me, and they're not here. Let's find out if we need to do this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, things are happening. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> very close to that clamp. That's okay. <laughs> Is it? I don't know. Why don't I ever leave myself space? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, turn on the vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna 
start spinning up. Quick. <laughs> Quick. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> Spike. Oh, no. Here we go. Oh, there it goes. Oh, my God. It's happening. So the main difference is we did parallel. Like, it's going to go with it. And the pro, like, in the tutorial there, I do uh, parallel. You know, we did offset. They said do parallel. So it's going to go back and forth. So I'm curious if we do this again, but uh, do the parallel, what the, the difference going to be. So, the McCare has been going at it uh, with the single engraving bit. Again, I know I'm doing this all wrong. <laughs> I, when we got this, it was presented as like this easy to use dummy proof thing. So I did an easy to do <laughs> dummy thing. Right now we have the vacuum off because it's so loud. That's yeah, honestly, I mean. this is the ambient noise of the machine. Yeah. Also, if you close it, Yeah, I, I could have that inside if it weren't for the vacuum. Now, the vacuum was gifted to me. I'm not complaining about it. It's just a vacuum that's very loud. So, uh, I'm just super excited about this. This is insane. And again, I know I did this wrong. That's okay. I just wanted to make it work. I grabbed something, put it in there, did one command. <laughs> done and then we will program the next thing to try it again to see if we can do it better and faster but this thing rocks <laughs> yeah like all this has just been flattened out so then it's going to come back and do detail but yeah the, the finishing pass will make this way or the rough pass make this way faster but i just still think it's cool It did finish. Good morning, Makara. Carvera. Holy smokes, dude. <laughs> what? That is bonkers. And this was also done with the just the engraving bit without any like <laughs> trying. This is bananas. Look at that. She's a beaut, Clark. Like you can even see like the background. And the reason it looks maybe a little muted is because it's scaled down so much that the textures were like, in reality, it's supposed to be like a, you know, probably 16th of an inch. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Stupendous. And Kavera, if you can hear me, send me everything. <laughs> I, I'm so impressed by this. The machine is crazy. The software is bananas, um, and I can't wait to make lots of other things. Uh, but next, we're gonna use the fourth axis module because I don't believe that it's as awesome as it is, and I can't wait to be proven wrong. It can't be that easy. And there's no way it's that easy. <laughs> there's no way. Uh, but we're gonna find out, and I am super duper excited about it. So. Uh, See you next time, and uh, Kavera, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>